Hello and welcome to another FDS, C++ and OpenGL tutorial. In this tutorial we will continue the object loader program so it will be able to load materials and UV textures. Ok, before we go let me show you a few examples to give you inspiration because it will be a quite, uh, how is it say, boring program. Uh, because basically all we do is is we do is we is exactly what we did earlier. So read a line and decide what kind of file it is. Uh, line is it? Okay. Uh, here is an example which I loaded. It's uh, a monkey head with two uh, different materials: one for the eye and the other for everything else, and a uh, quite big specular lighting. I think it's quite good. I like this example. Okay, but I have other examples too. So here we go, this is what I made earlier, this is basically just a pin IT and a simple map which I loaded with the object loader and I just put everything together. Uh, don't worry about the 3D camera and the skybox, we will later cover those. Th this is just I added to make it more complex, more professional, but basically all I do is ju just load two different kind of uh, 3D model and put it together. So that's about it. And I have a last example which shows you the uh, UV textures. So here we go. Uh, it's a quite big texture but I added a little moving. So it is just a soldier model. It's not my model actually. I find it on the internet. And as you can see it uses UV textures. It's a little blocky. It's a low poly model and I do not add the smooth normals but uh, yeah basically that's about it so as you can see it can load uh, UV textures without problem okay so enough for the demonstration and let's get to coding I worked a little bit basically what I do, did is just uh, copy these, uh, these from the functions dot cpp and these from the functions dot uh, h so yes, I copied those and uh, basically we have to a little bit modify the program. I do not really think over it when I started the programming, but don't worry, not too much, just a little bit. Okay, so before we move on, I want to show you how does it look like uh, the when there is material or UV texture. So I open up Blender and uh, let me add a material to this uh, default cube. So I just came here to the material tab and actually there is a default material. Okay, just change the color to red. Okay, and I add another one. So new and change this color to blue. So it can be easily seen. And I just go to, uh, how is it called? Never mind, I just press tab. And I assign this material to this one face. Okay, there we go. I, oh, nope. N now there we go. So as you can see there is two different material. If I just render out a, key, a, frame, a frame then you can actually see this. So um, this is not a different material just there is no lighting there. So there is two different material and I just export it as object file and we will look through the object file. How does it look? So I just export it as wavefront object and I call it what should I call it? Uh, the no test 9 ok and just export it and I open up with the, the text editor ok UV, I don't export UV coordinate, don't rotate it nerves, we don't need nerves, we need normals ok and export it so and I open up with the, my text editor so here it is, actually there is just uh, I think two line difference between the original and this one this uh, line, so mtl lib, so material library. Uh, there is a test9 mtl file in my desktop, I will open up in a moment. And there is this line, actually this two line. So first of all, we will use the material. Material, this is the default material we created first. And then for this phase, uh, under, underneath this use material, this is use the material 001. OK, and all other faces use the material. So basically these are the differences in this file. 
But as I said, there is a test 9 material file on my desktop. Here it is. So as you can see, we create a new material. Uh, by the way, it, uh, it is uh, similar, so this uh, hash mark is the command, and similarly, the first few letters decide what kind of light, uh, line it is. So in this case, we have a new material. The name is material. This is the same as here, so we use the material here and here. Okay, so there is this NS. I think it is the specular lighting, if I remember well. Um, or more precisely, specular coefficient, something like that. So basically, I use this as a specular. Okay, this is the ambient property of the current material. This is, as you can see, black, so it is not reag uh, so it is not react. Uh, the ambient light. This is the diffuse. So. It is actually uh, 8, so yes, it is uh, reddish, Th this is the reddish color, and uh, there is a specular lighting, this is whitish color, so gray, white, something like that. Okay, this NI, uh, I really don't know uh, what is this, I think this is for the transparency, and the, the transparency there are kind of weird effect when the light is warp and the uh, amount of that warp is this uh, value. We will also read that to the structure, we will not use it, at least for the moment, but who knows, later it can be useful. Okay, and D is the alpha, uh, 1.0 uh, mean there is no transparency, and 0 is mean there is complete transparency and everything uh, between that. Okay, and illum, illum is uh, a number, a simple number, 0 through 9, I think, and uh, we will not use it. So basically, it uh, tells us what kind of lighting is on or something like that. I don't really use it. Okay, and uh, another material, so start with the new material and the material name. Uh, yes, that's about it. So I think we can start. Uh, Wait a little bit, I will show you the UV texture coordinate, that could be interesting. I use the soldier example program to show you. So, there is this object file, as you can see, vertices, nothing really special, but here in the faces, actually there is a free number per face, uh, per vertex. So there is the number of the vertex, so the index of the vertex. There is the texture coordinate of the vertex. I will uh, go. I will return to that in a moment. And there is the last one is the normal, so the norm index of the normal. Okay. So here, if you would want to show you with the original code, this will give a segmentation failure because I presume very uh, badly that there is two p uh, p uh, pair sign like that. So Yes, because I always work things which have no texture coordinate. So yes, we have to uh, rewrite a little bit that. Okay, and uh, go to the VT. We have to find VT. So these are the textures, vertex textures. Basically all is the same as we did in the texturing tutorial. So it is a number between 0 and 1 and you know it's a part of the image one thing i should mention here is that the second coordinate so the v is actually start from the upper corner not the lower corner that's why we have to uh, uh, subtract one minus this number uh, don't worry about too much if you don't understand quite uh, 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 good yet uh, we will go uh, return to this when coding and maybe it will clarify it Okay, and in here, in the material file, there is uh, something new, map kd. This, i this is the image, basically. So body.bmp, I have this image. By the way, you may notice, notice that we haven't loaded anything as that bmp, and similarly here, we will not load anything as just bmp. So actually, we have to set uh, we have to convert it, if it is another format, to the same size with BMP. And actually the format we will use, because it's not so flexible object loader, so this R5, green 6, and blue 5 bit uh, per pixel. Okay, so 
uh, this KD means it is a, a diffuse map. So basically it sets the color. There could be other like bump map and light map and so on. We don't care about that because they are quite advanced subject. We just always load this diffuse uh, diffuse map. Okay, and I think I showed you anything, so we can start to coding. I have to rewrite a little bit the last code with uh, actually a class. So I put everything in a class. Uh, that's because one main reason uh, I may or may not mention in the texturing tutorial. Then you don't use uh, that your texture anymore. You have to delete it to avoid memory leaks. Similarly with the lists. So yeah, I sometimes forgot this stuff, but. Uh, uh, yes, we should delete it, and actually, uh, that will be the the so the death destructor will delete it. So basically, so let's make a class for it. So class call it obj loader, similarly than the file name, and uh, let's just copy and paste a few things like these variables in the beginning. So these. This should be copied to this, uh, so to the priv private section of the object loader. And I create two more. So std, oh, std vector, and the first one will be assigned in uh, assigned integer, and this will contain the index of the texture, so we can delete it in the destructor. So texture. Okay, and I make another one. I call this lists. Okay, that's about it. So f one is contain the textures, and the other is contain the lists. All right, and actually I create a few new variable boolean vari uh, variables, which will con uh, which will uh, uh, tell us that is something available or not. So bool and I call it is material so I if there is a material is nor is normal so if there is normals because we as you may remember we can save the object file with no normals in this case the is normals will be false and we don't get segmentation error okay and uh, I make a last one is texture okay so this will be false if there is no texture and to true if there is texture so basically we will not get segmentation errors okay and I need a load texture function which will load a texture so unsigned in load texture and it with the file name so const char file name that's about it it will be just simple load a, f uh, load a texture so nothing really special we already load textures I just uh, put it in the object loader okay and uh, I c uh, make a function called clean this will basically clean uh, whatever we reserve memory so it will be res uh, so it will be delete uh, these strings uh, which we actually uh, deserve memory for them dynamically and so all of them it will be just clean it is just as simple as that okay and I think it is enough for from the private function let's go to uh, public so public and I just make an obj loader so constructor this will basically just set a few variable mostly these boolean val uh, variables but some others maybe later okay and I make a destructor this will be delete uh, delete what it needs to delete so the textures and the lists so obj loader and uh, and I make another function which basically load everything so this is how you give it to load something so int load and const char file name so basically this will be the longest function this is that this is the same function as we worked earlier so I just put this load function to this load and uh, yes that's about it okay and that was about the object loader dot h so we are ready although we have to define a few new structures like material and texture coordinates so i would say let's get into that 
so struct and I call it uh, material. Okay, and uh, 